In this video, I'm going to go over the first part of a projectile motion problem. A person kicks a soccer ball with an initial velocity directed 53 degrees above the horizontal. The ball lands on a roof 7.2 meters high. The wall of the building is 25 meters away and it takes the ball 2.1 seconds to pass directly over the wall. So part A Part A reads, calculate the initial velocity of the ball. So to begin this question, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a diagram of the situation. Okay, so this is roughly what we have. So we have a ball being kicked um, and there's a wall of a building here this is the roof of the building okay so I'm gonna put in the values that we have so 53 degrees above the horizontal so it's kicked and go something like like this it lands on the roof um, this distance here is 25 meters the height of the roof is 7.2 meters Um, and we're trying to find the initial velocity of the ball. Okay, so let's now write down the givens. So when doing projectile motion questions, it's important to separate the motion into a, a horizontal motion and a vertical motion. So starting with the vertical, Um, what do we know? We know the time. So the time is the change in time. Delta T is 2.1 seconds. Um, in the vertical, we don't know much more. I mean, the, the only other thing we know is that the, the height of the building is 7.2 meters. But we won't, that won't really help us in finding the initial velocity of the ball. Um, so now let's look at the horizontal plane. So in the horizontal, uh, we know the displacement. So the displacement in the horizontal. Um, so I put, a, I'll, I put, I use an X for the horizontal is 25 meters. The time is the same 2.1 seconds for it to reach this point okay to be above the the wall and what we can find is we can find the horizontal velocity of the ball so we know we know the displacement the horizontal displacement we know the time that it takes for the ball to travel 25 meters horizontally so we can use this uh, use these values to calculate the horizontal velocity and so I'm going to do that now so the, the horizontal velocity is going to equal the horizontal displacement divided by the time and so that's 25 meters divided by 2.1 seconds which will give us 11.905 meters per second okay so that's the horizontal component of the velocity of the ball 
So now that I have the horizontal component of the velocity of the ball, I can use that to find the velocity, the initial velocity of the ball. Now remember that the horizontal velocity of the ball never changes. Okay, so the initial horizontal velocity of the ball and the final horizontal velocity of the ball stays the same because the ball doesn't accelerate in the horizontal plane. It only accelerates in the vertical plane because of gravity. So I'm going to redraw this triangle here. So we have... So that's the horizontal component of the velocity. So that's 11.905. The angle is 53. The vertical component of the velocity we don't know, but we don't really need to know it for this question. So V initial is what we're looking for. So, in order to, to find the initial velocity, I'm going to use a cosine ratio. So, cosine 53 is going to equal adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. So, the adjacent is 11.5. 905. The hypotenuse, we don't know, we're looking for it. It's the initial velocity. Rearranging this, so the initial velocity equals 11.905 divided by cosine 53. And that's going to give us 19.8 meters per second. So now if we look at um, if we look at the question, if we look at the numbers that are given, all the values that are given are to two significant digits. So our answers also must have only two significant digits. So the 19.8 meters per second that we got, we have to round it. Um, and now the only way you can write something like 19.8 to two significant digits is if you use scientific notation. So that will give us 2.0 times 10 to the 1. So I'm rounding it to 20 meters per second, and since it's a vector quantity, uh, we have to add a direction. So the direction is 53 degrees above the horizontal. Okay, and that's the answer to part A. So in the next video, I'm going to go over part B. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and check out the next video for part B. Thanks for watching.